morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> oh, look at that, there's another pinner right there. truck stop yeah we're here at the husky I was kind of surprised to actually uh, get a uh, parking spot in here last night but we did so that was fantastic yep and here we go Final stretch of going home today. Well, we will be going home today and then just be off till tomorrow, and then tomorrow we'll continue our journey to rejoin, alright? That's the plan, anyways. At least that's my plan. Well, it looks like another okay day. It's not sunshine right now, but. At least it's not snowing or raining or anything like that yet either, but the wife said that it is supposed to rain in Manitoba later on today. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. Alright, no, so far so good, right? Yeah, that's right. So, oh man. I'd have to change at the last second too, eh? Yeah, luckily, I'm not super heavy, so I was able to stop on time. But yeah, there's a cop right there too. <laughs> I didn't even see him. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. That happens. But anyways, uh, this is right for you. This is, uh, I think they got one more light in Dryden and that's it. From the Husky when I go back home, right? And I think there is a couple of lights that away, but uh, we are just about out of Dryden already. Yeah, they even got a Dairy Cream in here, but they're not open yet. I guess it's too early. Bait? So guys, they sell bait to go fishing in summer, probably. Yep, Kentucky Fried Chicken. All right. You got all kinds of places here. I think they do even have a uh, KK Penner up there. Tire shop. I've gotten my wheel retorqued there one time. Pretty good guys over there. Right here to the right, KK Penner. Yeah. They're always busy in here, it seems like. And there's another guy in there, Hope guy. He holds all kinds of wood chips and stuff. But yeah, so here we are. This is the last traffic light out here. So, thank you for riding along with me today. And that's coming uh, right along with, with me for the whole trip until the day is over for sure. Alrighty guys, we have now just crossed the border into Manitoba. And when, guess what? The chicken coops are open today. Yeah, you see them lights flashing up there? That means they are open. We gotta go across this chicken house. Or at least go across the plate, right? We want to know our scale. See what we weigh. Yeah, I always open up the window a little bit so that way, if they do say something on the speaker, we can hear them, right? Yeah, it's my plan, anyways. So we got to make a stop before we get onto the actual scale. So there we go. Let's see what they got to say. Okay, yeah, so far good. Everything is looking good. We are nice and light. Going on 
don't have to worry about overweight. There we go, we got the green light already. You don't even want to see us. That's good, that's what I like. I want to go home too. <laughs> yeah, we are now in the White Shield Provincial Park area. There's a lot of lakes up here in this area. So here in about West Hawk is three kilometers. Falcon Lake is 14 kilometers. So yeah, there's all kinds of lakes up here. And we have gone fishing up there in the Caddy Lake just down the road, just past West Hawk. Uh, the turn off is up here pretty soon. And then you can go to uh, West Hawk. And then the lake after that, I believe, is Caddy Lake. And we've gone fishing there many, many, many times. Maybe one day we will get to take you guys over there and we will go through the tunnel. They actually have a tunnel where you can go through and it's pretty cool. You know, it's a very narrow tunnel. You can go through there with the boat and it is very, very interesting. I bet a lot of you guys would probably like that. Maybe one day we will get around to showing you guys that. And there's actually three lakes that are attached to each other and there's two tunnels you can go through we've only gone through the second tunnel once i believe because that one is very shallow and you have to be very careful otherwise you wreck your uh, propeller for your uh, you know for your boat engine right but uh the first one there is usually okay it's, it's it's not bad you know you can get through there with no problem but uh the second one you really got to be careful but yeah i'm just over the hill that's where you see the turn off to go to West Hawk. Yeah. And usually if you uh, camp at Caddy Lake, they don't have showers there. So then you go over here to West Hawk, which is, uh, I don't know, a 10 minute drive. And you can go take showers over there. So very, very nice lake. I like uh, camping there at Caddy Lake. Like I say, we've done that probably for a couple of years. We, we've been going there steadily. And we liked it over there, but now my friends, they got seasonal camps, campsites that they usually get. So, uh, so we usually go to their campsites because we don't go camping very often anymore. So we usually do that, we just go, go together with them. But uh, yeah, that's the way it is, Western Star, oh, nice truck. But anyways, we're not too far from home anymore. Probably about an hour and a half, hour and three quarters. We should be home. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are now coming into Steinbach. Yeah, my hometown. That's where I live in right now. Yep. And as you can see, it's raining. Yeah. Oh well, what can you do? But what we're going to do is we're going to go to the yard and our yard and then we're going to drop this trailer bob till back home and then we're going to go to my cousin's place she's a hair salon and i already have it arranged so i can go in there and get me these uh, hair haircut as you've been seeing over the last couple of days, my hair has been all messed up and it looks terrible. <laughs> I like to be a little bit more presentable than that. So uh, we're going to go get us a haircut. As soon as we drop our trailer, we're going to go over there. Or maybe not right away, maybe, but within the hour, within the hour. That's right. So, what else are we going to do? I don't know. <laughs> going to go home and spend a little bit of time with the family. And then we're going to go out again tomorrow. Deliver this load tomorrow. I'm just looking to see if that was my brother. He's got a similar car, but that's not him. He's got a little bit of a different car than that. That's kind of early too. I don't think he would be done working yet. Nope, I don't think so. But at least it's not snowing. It's just raining today. I think it's going to be good for the grass. 
get a little bit of rain on there so we don't get wildfires going here you know so that way it's nice and wet so the grass and everything has a chance to grow so that way we don't have uh, fire restrictions here this spring like we have had that a few years where we have had fire restrictions where we can't even have a fire in a fire pit we couldn't even cook a barbecue at a campsite and a grill they wouldn't even allow us to do that so yeah but anyways we're here in the Johan Steinbach so we're gonna go take care of some business and then uh, We'll see you guys all a little bit later. All right, guys and gals, guess what? I'm the handyman today at home. I come home and the wife is complaining that, or maybe just letting me know that the dishwasher isn't working. So, guess what? Look at this. Holy moly. We got the whole tool sets out here. We're taking the dishwasher apart and we discovered that this little motor here in the in the back here it's got a little fan like this and it was stuck it couldn't turn and I could feel the motor wanting to turn but it was not able to turn I could feel it was turning really hard so uh, I got in here and cleaned it all up now she's turning no problem so I went to the truck and got me some WD-40 and we're gonna grease her up a little bit and hopefully she will be quiet again and hopefully it will work so uh let's get to it alrighty guys we got her all hooked up over here as you can see the motor is back in there and here comes the moment of truth just turn the back on so let's see we we'll have to get on the floor here let's see if that motor will actually turn let's take a look it's just gonna have to fill up with water first as soon as that turns full of water that motor is supposed to kick in so let's give that a try and see if that will work and see if my handiwork did the trick yeah let's give that a try gotta try something right oh i forgot the most important part and that is, I didn't plug the motor in yet. <laughs> that would probably help, right? That would probably be a good idea. Alright, okay. Alright, I'm gonna have to put the camera down and see if he can. There we go. Oh, you hear that? That motor is turning. Voila! Well, that's a good sign. That's fantastic. All right. Wow. Huh. Good job, right? Sounds okay. Yeah, let's see if that's gonna work out all right. I'm just gonna see if there is any, any leaks or anything like that. Now, yeah, looks like there's a little tiny bit of a leak, but not too bad. Let's see if that's going to continue dripping. If it is, then it does. If it don't, it don't, right? That's right. I guess we'll keep an eye on it and see if she will work nicely. But anyways, we'll be back in a little bit. Alrighty guys, look at that. We got the dishwasher all put back in. It's pretty quiet. Yeah, I would say it's normal. The master has cleaned up his tools a little bit. It's time to go put them away. And let's go check out what we're doing outside. This is what we are up to outside, guys. We are cooking us a stew. Yes, and the sun is starting to come through. And these uh, plants over here are starting to bud. They're starting to grow. That's a fantastic sign, I think. Oh, yeah. But anyways, we're cooking us a good dinner. Now we'll have us a good dinner and see what we'll be up to after that. Alrighty guys, I'm back here in the truck. 
just figured I would do my log book and all that stuff and uh, finish off my day and uh, get ready to go tomorrow so we can uh, just hop in the truck and get the heck out of here right so we can make our delivery in Regina tomorrow afternoon but yeah we did have us a good supper oh yeah and if you haven't noticed we got us a haircut yeah looking much better now we don't have this kind of stuff going on there you know <laughs> yeah anyways uh i'm just gonna close the show off here right now so i hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog i know it was probably a little less driving but uh, hey tomorrow we'll be back on the road so hopefully we'll be able to show you some goodies there so stick around for that and be sure to check back tomorrow We'll see you here again on my channel, Trucker Rudy signing out. It's time to get going, it's time to move on. Put this behind me, that day is gonna come.